houses and shit on fire. He, yeah, he lost his damn mind. Um, oh, shit, I didn't press. What's going on, folks? How you feeling out there? I want to talk about this crazy ass dude who was walking around in LA or running around, or however he was getting around, just setting houses and shit on fire in California. He's been charged with over 100 counts of arson. Like, this dude has set that many cribs on fire or whatever he set on fire. This shit is ridiculous, you know? Like, seriously, he's gone mad. He don't give a fuck about taking lives away. He don't care about the damage of the property. He don't care about how much money he costs the people. This dude is basically got the mind frame of a murderer. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're just setting shit on fire, you evidently don't give a damn if somebody's in there or not. You know? I'm like, you know what? We need to get rid of this dude ASAP. He get found guilty. Let's get rid of him. Not the old-fashioned way. I'm not talking about life. We know California got the death penalty. They will put your ass up under quick, you know? But they should do it a unique way. They shouldn't just give him the death chair or the lethal injection or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I could have sworn they said in one of the statements, he said, fuck Americans and all that other shit. Let's show them how we get down when you fuck with us, you know? Like, I know I should not be cussing this much because I got fans under the age of 18. But sometimes these stories make me go crazy. You know, and I can't control the things that come out of my mouth. You know what I'm saying? And this is one of them stories. Because you got to think about the people who probably lost their lives. I didn't really get into detail to find out if anybody lost their lives, if any pets lost their lives, or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it would piss me off if he burned down my house for the simple fact that, you know, I got a lot invested in this house. On top of that, I got, you know, childhood memories in this house. And you just don't burn shit down that don't belong to you. That's something you don't fucking do, okay? You know how we should get rid of this bastard? We should tie this bitch up upside down by his foot, you know? And first, before we do that, let's, um, because he got long hair, you know, put his, put a bunch of fucking gasoline in his hair. That's what we should do. Put gasoline all in his fucking hair, hang him upside down, and somebody just smoke a cigarette and just flick the damn cigarette over there and watch his hair catch on fire. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, we should get like a, a, a person who's real good at with bow and arrows. You know what I'm saying? Light some fire on them bow and arrows and have BAM! And just, you know, just hit his whole fucking body up until he died. Let his ass die a painful way the way he did those people who probably died in those properties, you know. And if he didn't kill nobody, you know, I'm probably over-exaggerating, blowing this out the proportion. If he didn't kill nobody, let this bitch sit in there for life, okay? But if he killed somebody, let's get rid of him that way, all right? That's how I'm feeling about that story. I just wanted to get that off my chest, you know. And one more thing before I get out of here. Let me explain something to you people who subscribe to this channel. Look, I love you. I love the hell out of you. You're my people. You're part of Craft Nation once you hit that subscribe button. But I will not allow you to fucking try to tell me what I should upload on my channel. You know, follow my lead. I'm the captain of this ship. I promise you, if this ship go down, I'm not going to abandon you like that dude, the captain of that one ship, when his ship went down on the Italian coast. I'm going to stand strong. So I put certain shit up on my channel for a reason. If you don't like the video, you don't have to watch it. I'm going to always drop the videos that you like, but bear with me. Leaving that in the comment box do not make me say, hmm, they're right. This is their channel. I should do what they want me to do. You know, I got to be, I got to have a free mind. I got to do what I want on this channel. It's just how I escape. You know what I'm saying? You know, if I can't have the free mind and I'm censored, you know, just like they trying to do the fucking internet, it's no fun for me at all. When it's no fun for me, there's no me. So if you don't want no more me, you know, all you got to do is just delete yourself because I will do you a big favor and block the hell out of you. But with that being said, if you didn't mean no harm and you was just talking out loud, I still love you, okay? You could have sent me a message, but you didn't have to leave it in the comments because you're going to cause a big argument on the thing. And I don't want people yelling and cursing at you when you really didn't mean no harm and you feel threatened. And you don't want to be a part of the craft nation. You see what I'm saying? And I don't want to read a comment and accidentally block you because you said some shit that pissed me off. You know, but I'm getting better with not blocking people because I let a lot of people slide. But with that said, question of the day for the video. How do you think this dude should lose his life if he kills somebody? Should he just get the regular lethal injection or should he keep his life? You know what I'm saying? He only costs millions of dollars in fucking damage. You know, oh, his bail is like $7.8 million. So um, if somebody go get him, them filthy fucks need to get their bank account sucked zero for the simple fact. Why would you waste money on a piece of shit like that? With that said, I'm gone.